The top tourism destination of Mudgee in New South Wales has been divided by the country's first renewable energy zone. Concern is growing that the town will be swamped by an influx of workers. Senior reporter Caroline Marcus travelled to Mudgee to find out more. Its vineyards and landscape have been drawing visitors to Mudgee for decades. Now this charming town will find itself home to many of the workers from 25 projects being developed in the state's first renewable energy zone. The zone covers an area of 20,000 square kilometres in New South Wales's central west and includes the towns of Mudgee and Dunedoo and the city of Dubbo. General Manager of Mudgee's local council, Brad Cam, is concerned about the impact on the tourist town. For us, it's become overwhelming. The projects will bring in 10,000 workers and family members, a 40% growth in population in three years. The town would need an extra 1,500 homes, as well as more emergency beds, GPs, schools and road upgrades. Well, and we don't want the impacts of the renewable energy zone to have effects on our tourism industry. Mudgee's stunning wineries and food have helped it win Australia's top tourism award two years running. But some locals are concerned the renewable energy zone could change the character of this town. We don't want farms with solar panels. We don't like wind turbines. If, you, if you're talking about wind turbines and, and uh, solar panels, no. Others welcome the change. It's much better than building another coal mine. <laughs> it's fantastic. Beauty salon owner Anne Cleary relies on tourism. Areas that don't have such a high um, tourism footprint could be looked at as an alternative. Other business owners like Grant Jessing are more positive. Uh, it gives us opportunity as local businesses to uh, prove our worth as suppliers to such projects. Mr Jessing's crane business has already benefited from contracts with projects such as Waller Solar Farm, 40 minutes outside Mudgee. Owned by Beijing Energy International, the solar panels here spread over the equivalent of 630 soccer pitches. We have you know, every desire to come in and be a good corporate citizen, you know, to engage with the local community. A spokesperson for the New South Wales Government's Energy Co says while generators are responsible for workforce accommodation, Energy Co is working closely with councils, industry and local communities to coordinate the delivery. Caroline Marcus, Sky News.